Okay, so <laughs> try to be a little enthusiastic. Been a long day at work, so I did a purchase a new vent uh, for my vehicle, my W two. Uh, it's actually C two O four. I don't want to call it a W two O four. Technically, yeah, it is. You can't call it that, but it's the two door coupe, and this is really looking ugly. So I decided, you know what? Why not? purchase a new one because it's not like you could replace the rubber piece technically it's one whole piece and I just want to replace it because it's old worn out and it's ugly the only part that's bothering me most is these little rubber pieces that's worn out already the other side it actually already came off so I think I threw that away about a year and a half ago give or take could be more so I purchased a new one. I removed the stickers. This does come with the little sticker here. Uh, if you ever want to purchase a sticker yourself, this is in part number for this sticker. Same for that sticker if you want to replace it. Looks like I might have to. That might bother my eyes. <laughs> uh, same with this one too. Has a little part number. You could just Google it up. You got the iPhone Safari. So. Uh, do that. I did purchase this online. I just Google it up. I look for, you know, whatever price range and whatever it fits for my vehicle. Um, some of the pictures do look alike, comparing to uh, comparing it to what the design looks and all that the molding. But one of them might be slightly bigger than the one for your vehicle. Uh, it could be possible because. It might be for the W204, which is a four-door sedan. Not entirely sure if they're actually the same. I remember I had four-door sedan, but I never really paid attention to it as much. So, give or take, we're going to get started on replacing it, switching it apart. So, I did, you know, went ahead and removed the stickers for the AC, for the headlights. Um, it's not that hard. You could just peel it off. Somehow it's coming off already, which, yeah, makes sense. I mean, it's pretty old, but I would think that it would stick on there and it would be hard and would start to deteriorate and kind of break apart the moment you try to remove the sticker. But it didn't, so I'm kind of happy, glad about it. So we're going to get into the distance installation and the installation. So we're going to get into the portion where we're going to move in this air duct, which is basically, you can just pry this out. This little piece down here all you got to do is just push that down and you're gonna work your way on to removing this vent slightly don't force it because then again you might rip this portion and you don't want to replace it it's not that expensive but still uh, just take that in mind be cautious and push this down a little bit oh I went right through it pushed it from the wrong end so I'm going to push it down a little bit and then work my way into moving it, just like that. Just be careful not to break it. If you do, parts can be replaced. In that portion, basically, if you do rip that part, you got a new piece right here. So makes no difference in whether you do it or not. And as well, you got another vent cover here, so you're going to remove that as well. So that's pretty easy. So for you do the same method that you're doing here onto the other side. And this time it doesn't want to come off, which I never really had that much of a hard time with this. Now that, it's going to be clipped on by these little cables right inside. So you're just going to pull it out. It's not that hard. Uh, same with the other side, you're going to remove the cable, simple as that. And one way to remove this is you're going to have to tilt it up, high it up. So, there are little vents here, vent caps, which is basically these little portions there, there are tabs. So you want to get the flat head. Let me show you guys real quick. So you want to get the little tabs right here, put your flathead there, and pry it outwards towards you. So we're going to do that, basically just do that, simple, same with the other side, so it comes off, 
so you won't break it. Just like that. And there should be another portion here somewhere. Oh, the ones that you removed the cables from, basically these, you're gonna have to pry them out also as well. So you're gonna have to lift up that portion to get it out. Just like that. I'm gonna move this so I don't damage that one. And just like that, comes right off. So you're gonna have to remove this vent as well to put it onto the new one, which is good. Just checking if I left any screws from back then. And it looks like there's not, so great. So you wanna remove this portion as well. It's pretty easy. Work your way into it. And it should pop off. So you might have to remove it from the bottom portion. Both. Okay. So if you ever need to replace this also, there's little numbers back here, which is great. The engravings, it tells you the part number. If you ever want to replace this too as well. So when you remove this, you just want to basically tap this outwards. Kind of get your flathead into here. Just be careful you don't stab your own finger, your thumb. And then just kind of lift it up. It goes against it. Just that. Okay, I kind of want to clean it. It's pretty dirty. I mean, it'll get dirty again, but I kind of want to clean it. Awesome. So it's clean. It's a lot better. I kind of like to clean my car a little bit more than what it should be. So we're going to place this back inside. You don't want to put it in the wrong wall because then you're going to be blocking the air duct. So all you got to do is basically just press this in. You can start from the bottom end first or the top, whichever one. Actually, wrong way. Backwards. Or no. Actually, it is correct. Oh, actually, upside down. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna work in, place it in there, and just basically push it, press it in, just like that. It's in. Pretty simple and easy. Just gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I want to clean my car, make it look at least cleaner than what it is right now. So, compared to that, a lot newer. What do you guys think? In comparison to the old beat up one, which is pretty old now, <laughs> worn out. So, what I'm gonna probably do with this just toss it. I mean, I doubt anybody's gonna buy it. Yeah, you know, something that's used and old. I don't know that many people is gonna replace this unless they get into a wreck. But other than that, what you guys think? So, you're just gonna place everything back the way it was, kind of press it in back in its place and that's it you're good so hopefully you guys like the video tell me what you guys think what are your thoughts on replacing this part do you think it's necessary i mean not exactly but if you love your vehicle yes you would do it so you want to keep your car looking good clean i would suggest replacing it uh making things look new again you know because sometimes the parts that's been worn out is an eyesore and not many people do like looking at it so hopefully you guys would like the video like comment um if you guys want to see something else me to do on my vehicle let me know